Hey everybody, I'm a bit late coming on, so apologies for that, but I made it, got the technology working, <laughs> and I am going to see who's here. Um, so, welcome everybody. Today is World Dragon Day, and um, it is... I'm a bit late coming on. I thought I'd come on earlier today, but it just wasn't the kind of the timing wasn't working out, whatever was going on with me and my energy too. Um, I'm going to add you. I've had a couple of text messages asking where I am. So, Christine, I'm going to add you. Here you are, so you can see it. And thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> as we become live and I'm just going to check is it working um trying to get everything charged and done let's see here we are and is it working I don't know me and technology today ah it is yay <laughs> awesome <laughs> Welcome everybody and I'll give it a couple of minutes. I'm gonna press this done. Ah, oh, it is, it's working. Oh great. Tamara, welcome. Caroline, nice to see you. Karen, Laura, hi guys, hi ladies. Um so today being World Dragon Day, I had a bit of an urge to do a little bit of a dragon calling in alive, let's say, and um I actually, I'm, I'm back in Ireland, I'm just after coming home, and I just had this kind of big energy drop. It was like I needed to bed in. All day today, it was like this anchoring in. Hi, Emer, hi, beautiful. And um, it was like part of me wanted to totally retreat and hide today. And um, I ended up going, whoa, what is going on? So um, had my salt bath, did a little bit of self-care, which was, I was so resistant to do it. It was hilarious. Um, like take my own medicine. And in the bath, I was like, okay, I'll have the bath. I, I was kept putting off this live ladies. And I was like, what will I do now? You know, I was like, go for a walk. So I actually what came into my home yesterday and I came to these wonderful deck of dragon cards that I had ordered last May, but I haven't been home in Ireland to collect them. I mean, they're just fabulous um, drawings of dragons and the energy. I mean, I received them, I opened them up. I actually cried when I got them, the power out of them. And um, I had the pleasure of pulling a few for a couple of people, Tamara. <laughs> I think they could feel the energy too. You could feel that. I pulled you one yesterday. It was the day before, I can't even remember my days. And right before I went out for a walk, I was like, I'm going to pull one. I'm going to meditate on it and call in that dragon. And guess what it was? The green dragon I saw on my way over on the plane. I don't know if you can see the lights a bit sharp here, but there it is, the green dragon. And I saw this dragon on the plane when I was on the way over. And it was like asking me to connect with it. And I was avoiding everything today, so I didn't. And I did it right before I went out. And it's a dragon of Ireland. Can you believe that? It's the dragon of Ireland. And um, I was like, wow, there's your sink, Mary. There's your sink right now. There's your sign. Go out and just um, in the light of the moon. And this is like, there's a whole poem here on the back. And it's about dancing in the light of the moon with the fairies. And I could do that. I was doing that. The moonlight was shining. I feel it. So the message that came in, and this is the message for the collective tonight. I'm going to share it with you and do a transmission and a little meditation. So. I'm going to invite everybody, put my hair back, it's a bit wet still, everybody just to, let's anchor in and relax. <laughs> Let us come home into our bodies. And I'm going to invite everybody to come with me on this because I need this so much myself right now. So I'm going to invite us all just to take a breath we're going to ground in and um, go right into it then so find a really nice space for you to sit down or if you're standing stand or if you're in your bed wherever you happen to be 
I'm going to invite you now to sit, to stand, but to get that stance where you're anchored, okay? And I'm going to invite you now just to allow the breath in, just soften. We're going to soften, as I always ask everybody and invite everybody, we're going to go, oh, soften in. And I always make that sigh because it helps me just go. So I'm going to invite you just to open and soften like the sunflower stretching up to the sun. We're just going to. Oh, and feel your feet on the ground. Feel your hips balanced. And allow your shoulders just to, you know, give them a little wiggle, a little roll, just to relax them back. So they're kind of gently, gently slowing, raising down, lowering down. And find that space where your back feels comfortable and supported. Welcome, Savine. We're just doing the little bit of a grounding in. Just allow yourself to get supported. And now I'm going to invite you just to breathe in. I'm going to count the breath in. We're going to breathe in for five, six, hold for three and breathe out. So just with me, everybody coming in now. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and six. Hold, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale again. Hold, exhale. And now I'm going to invite an open mouth. And with the open mouth, we're going to gently massage the jaw. Bringing our hands up. We're going to use our hands to touch, ladies and gents. We're just going to massage the jaw now. And have that baby soft mouth, allowing the, allowing the breath, that inspiration of breath, just to wash in like a wave. And just like waves, it's going to like cover us. Cover the sands, the sands of our emotions, whatever is unsettled. It's just going to settle us and smooth everything out. So just massaging the jaw. I do tend to hold tension. That's why I always invite everybody to do this. And just notice, tilt the neck side to side and breathe in. Ah, oh, that's better. And now bringing the hands up to the brow, the worry lines. All these lines where we furrow and we worry and we wonder and we plan. So this is where our to-do list happens all up here. And we're just going to massage this area out as if you're touching a newborn baby. It's just soft and gentle, soft and gentle and feel everything just kind of get like butter and smooth out. Big breath in and a breath out. Underneath the sinuses now, just massaging. Mm, there you go. And I invite you just gently down, gently stroke the troth. And when we're sto stroking the troth, we're actually opening and softening the tubes there. We're going to really soften and expand the troth. And there's no forcing or pushing now. We're just allowing that breath in and out of the baby soft mouth, just like a wave in and out. There's no forcing or pushing anymore. We're not doing any labor breath. It's just in and out. And allow that breath to wash down the back of the heart. Allow it, imagine it going down in behind the heart space and opening it up and any energies any darkness any pains any hurts any worries we're just going to allow the breath to wash over them 
Mm, good. And breathing in again and feeling that breath and allowing yourself to be on the breath, on the breath like a boat on a wave. And feel it tumble down, down to the tummy, as low as it goes. And just noticing if there's any constriction. Noticing if you're caught anywhere. I can feel it in me tonight now. I can feel where I'm caught. So just bring your awareness there. And I'm going to invite you to place a hand anywhere that you feel you need that support. For me, it's on my actual sacred heart, upper chest area, and down on my belly, my womb. So breathing in and just sighing. Oh. And that breath out, that ah, oh, when you make that sound, it's a deep mmm, that resonance, that vibration going down. It's helping open and soften. Okay? So breathing down, and now we're bringing our attention and our focus into the womb space, into the sitting area. And I'm inviting you now to open and soften all of those areas down there. So your sacred sex area, your urethra to your back passage. Ladies of three, men of two. So just breathing in and open on the out breath. Ah, you'll feel that sense of softness. And it could be very subtle, but just, just notice it and keep breathing in and soften it as much as you can, bit by bit, bit by bit as the breath goes out. And you'll feel that wave of breath just wash down. We're opening up that channel. We're opening up the root, the sacral, the room channel. In through the mouth, the eyes, the ears, everything's open. Open and soft, open and soft. And open and soft down below. And you'll feel yourself just get deeper and deeper into that breath like medicine, like nectar, just breathe it in. Good. And my intention for everybody here joining us today and in the future is to receive the highest wisdom, the highest truth, the highest love, whatever it is that you need to receive, healing, activation, attunement, releasing, letting go, opening whatever it is you need to receive right now that you receive that in this transmission whatever energies are going to unlock it happens with ease and grace i invite you to breathe that in and i invite you also to set your intention perhaps it's a lot of you on this call have already met your dragons with me on our last meditation so invite them in Okay, and some of you even have names because you've, you've told me so invite in your names dragons and anybody that Hasn't yet met or encountered that energy that I speak of and this is an energetic You know Im impression or an energetic being we're going to invite that energy in and There's nothing to fear with dragon energy There's a lot of legends and folklore out there um, a lot of, you know, they're the stuff of myths and they're in the memory of the collective consciousness for a reason. Everybody, you know, I have a feeling everybody on this call has definitely had an encounter or had an experience with that energy. If not this lifetime, other lifetimes, and if not on this plane, in other planes. So I'm inviting you now just to release any fears of anywhere in the past where perhaps there's memories that aren't so good or energetic imprints that aren't so good just take a breath in and release so we are calling in the highest energy vibrations mm, and i'm inviting in my dragon now komoshu and the trio the trinity komoshu kapachi kimichi thank you coming in I'm inviting in the dragon of Ireland who showed herself and it's a female. I could feel the feminine energy from her because my main one is male. This is the dragon of Ireland. I pulled the card right before I came out. Um, and she is all about 
the sea, the moon, the valleys, protection, music, fairies. That's all. I'm just reading the words as it goes down. Magic. So I'm going to actually take a photo and post this up for everybody. I'm going to pull a card for people later. Right now we're going to kind of, I'm going to let you know what the message was that came in. The message from this energetic being for the collective right now, and for me personally, was about, actually, I thought it was going to be the galactic dragons coming in. It wasn't. It was the earth dragons, the actual dragons of the earth, the energetic elementals that are now awakening in the womb space of the earth and coming up. Um, they've always been here. It's just, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm talking woo-woo, so I'm going to get a wit woo-woo. <laughs> so within the Earth's core, there are portals, massive portals, interdimensional portals. Alexandra, hi, welcome. And right now, they, they've been activated in the last while, okay? So these portals are multidimensional, interdimensional, and dragon energy is coming through these right now. And that is all about helping Earth, helping Earth in the ascension, helping Earth... Um, clearing and healing and protecting, helping those, the animals, the plants, the the air, the waters, the peoples that are on the earth, um, helping us, essentially. And when I say that, there's that sense of helping us with raising us, raising our consciousness, raising the vibrational frequency of what we are, the matter that we are. Welcome, Tiffany. Um, so her message was for everybody right now if we can if we can anchor in i'm going to invite everybody now to feel their feet in the earth we're going to get that sense we're going to breathe in and we've opened our spaces we opened our yoni spaces ladies that are just joining what we did was a little breathe in and we've opened everything we've opened the mouth we've softened we've come into the heart we've opened the womb space we've opened the all the sphincters the urethra the vagina and the 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 bum the back passage and for men, you've got two, we've got three. So I'm inviting everything just to soften. And if those of you joining now, let's just take a breath in. And then the out breath, <sighs> soften and open. And just feel now, closing your eyes again, getting that sense of connecting to the body. And if you feel like you want to move in a circular motion, because the dragon of Ireland that came in, and she's here for everybody now, not just Ireland. She came in about mainly talking about the womb space with me earlier. And the womb space, the literal imprint of the womb space in females, but also the womb, I mean, male ha males have that too. The men have this experience also. They come from the womb. Uh, females have the womb, but we are also birthed from the universal womb in the earth womb okay welcome ash lovely to see you um so there's this whole thing about the womb space that energetic imprint and i'm not talking about biology as much here i mean it is included this is that energetic imprint or that energetic um space the space of creation within us all male and female and every other whatever way you identify everybody okay whatever gender you identify with so we're taking a breath in and just feeling the tummy relax and the back your back should be soft and relaxed and for the ladies out there now we're uh, and for the men i'm going to invite you to we're going to actually loosen up physically because i'm just getting told to do this that there might be some stiff hips some stiff lower backs out there um, and we're just going to create a very gentle, you see how gently I am moving with my hips in a very soft, circular motion. And I'm going to invite you to breathe in again. <sighs> just allow yourself on this sense of you just like you're on a wave, a little circle wave. And breathe in. Allow it to open you up. And I'm going to invite anybody that needs to sigh, to sigh or to hum. A vocal toning will help as well. We're going to activate the vagal nerve. I'm getting shown everybody's vagal nerve from the brainstem down to your urethra. And for women, it's into your, your sacred uh, cervix as well. Okay, we're going to hum. Taking a breath in and just imagining that plumb line going all the way down as we circle and just going, hmm. I'm 
going to invite you to do three. So in your own time, breathing in and out and making that sound wherever you feel comfortable to do it. And maybe it's an ah, uh, maybe it's an ah, uh, whatever it needs to be for you, do that now and just feel that resonance. Mm. Placing your hands in the body, you'll feel it run down your back, right into your sitting space. And we're opening, opening all those sphincters. Good. Ah. So I will be doing a light transmission, a light language transmission. And for anybody who's not familiar with light language, it is just an energetic language. Energy, everything's energy, everything is energy. Our thoughts are energy, our matter is energy. Um, everything is energy, okay? So um, in that way, the language that comes through is an energetic language to help clear, unlock, open, release, unhook you from anything that's holding you back where you're stuck. Um, change DNA codings essentially, uh, open up the cellular memory system so that you can access higher states of consciousness. Um, there's so much this language can do. And it's a, it's a heart language, it's a soul language. Some people call it angelic language. For those of you that are, um, to niece, I see my cousin's niece is on this. For those of you that come from a Catholic background, this used to be called speaking in tongues, it still is. Um, However, what I'm, what I'm inviting in is spirit, if you want to call it that, at a, at, a, at a level where it's just encompassing all, but also the energy. I'm going to invite in the energy of the dragon specifically now on World Dragon Day today, and I'm inviting in the ancestors. Again, the ancestors want to be here, and the elemental kingdom, because specifically what came up is about the earth dragons today. So I'm inviting in the galactics and the earth, but specifically the earth for today and especially welcoming in your dragons. So call them in right now if you haven't yet done so. Set your intention. What is your intention for this? What do you want? What do you need? What do you want to receive? Is it more love? Is it a healing? Is it abundance? Is it a relationship? Is it, what is it that you need? Wisdom, knowledge, activation of your gifts, invite it in, okay? Um, so you may do that now, invoking your I am presence, so I invoke my I am presence for the highest good to receive what it is that I need right here, right now. Thank you. And it's that simple, whatever you need to make it. Okay, here we go. I started off talking about a portal in the middle of the earth and I got sidetracked. I am gonna mention that really quickly. The interdimensional portal that's there right now that's opened up in the last while, it's a massive one. Um, it's through here. I mean, dragons are interdimensional beings. There are those that are here all the time, like the earth dragons, the elemental dragons, but there are those that are galactic also, that come from other dimensional systems or planetary systems. There's just such a vast array. And there are the, the, the higher frequency ones, but there's also, you know, ones that they're not yet as evolved. There's no good and bad per se. It's just now what we're calling in is the highest frequency, the highest love, the highest truth. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, Michelle. Um, Michelle, I'm so happy you joined because I'm about to actually, I wanted to share the symbol that came in that I got told to put on my logo. Michelle designed, helped me design it actually, um, folks. So I'll talk about that in a bit as well. Um, okay, so we can connect into that portal that is in the earth, the one I'm talking about. And all we need to do is bring our attention there, bring our focus there, bring our energy there. Feel your feet now anchored into the earth. So we're going to, I'm going to talk you through this. Breathing in, feeling your feet anchored. And almost like you have roots growing right all the way down. Allow the breath to carry the roots down further and further. So taking a breath in. Ah, and feeling those energetic roots grow deeper and deeper through the earth's crust, through the soil, through the rocks, the crystal beds, the river beds, going down, 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 breathing in and feeling them go lower and lower and lower until you get a sense that you're just right in the center of the earth, hitting Mother Earth going straight to the womb space of the earth. 
And I'm inviting you now to connect your womb with the earth's womb, just through intention and through that feeling of your energies. Breathe it down. And I will speak a little bit of transmission now. I'm going to invite in whatever needs to come in. Mm. And you may hum as you receive, whatever way it is you need to receive this. Mashno ati ahoroch snaha ate. Meki iki ka arachta harach snaha ate akta maha wawuyite ahau. And I'm just getting told again, everybody just open really soft to your urethra, all that, because we're going to bring that flow out. Mishni ehe ba ahara anamate ahakta awala mene vashnuna he se kamahana vahrevi sa malakete alahada katamaha yiki kamana nano sonamana ne e vashno hiti kalichima na heke kama asne ete akata roho mi ahinima awahamana e kisi e sima wa mana nana e se kata wa wa ma. Take a breath in and I'm going to invite you to, if you're sitting, can you really spread your, your legs? <laughs> um, spread those legs as wide as you can to allow that energy out. Taka. <laughs> Yaso name Yahana ese hamana wa ukui te akata sa no ro esana mana wai te kota ma uro sone sa ma kate ka uro koto sona isimana na wai e kiso e himala wa so ya ya kana wa himina aso ye kete ahana mara wa ukro snaite ki kamana wa uma yi si ma wa ui ka masane e ma oye orashna ka hiska ma wa wa ki ma na wa me sho e ya kara ki shala wa wa ma na na wa ki kama na na wa ishko ye kama wa ma na i take a breath in ah and just soften again so some of this energy is quite deep and powerful and it's not as light and fluffy as other angelic frequencies. So just be okay. It's all good. Just receive it with the heart. Sweet. <laughs> Take a breath in. Raska mi amana na wahika amala wa uisana amana na i amawashka yemana na wa mana a. Echo ma i. A lot of us are carrying so much that is not ours to carry. I'm just getting it on my shoulders again, so I'm going to invite that unhooking. Take the bags off, the bags of suffering, the bags of pain, the bags of responsibilities that aren't yours. It's the word coming in is fear. It's a lot of stuff about finances coming in, lack. Anywhere there's that sense of not enoughness, lack. 
I'm going to invite you just to come into the womb again. Let's the men and the women now we're going to go breathe right down to that sacral, that root area, right into your womb space. Put your hands there and rub that belly. If you want to move, move. Allow your body to have whatever movement it needs. And mine wants to do this, so. <laughs> Release the fears from the maternal and paternal lines, ancestral fears of lack, the famines, the sufferings, the wars, the poverty, the scarcity. The robbing, the pillaging. It is not our responsibility to hold on to our generational pain. Anything that's held in the waters of the womb, placing your hands there, giving your belly a rub. Big breath in and soften the belly out. Oh. Open. We're inviting in now. I'm inviting in the dragon of Ireland. I'm inviting in my dragon, Komoshu. I'm inviting in each of yours. And through that, the infinity symbol to balance out anywhere in your systems that's out of harmony. So we're going to clear your chakra systems going up and down. Like an elevator, your dragons, with the dragons I'm calling in, all of the elementals. They're going to come up. The black dragon's coming in now. Thank you. The fire dragon's coming in now. Thank you. Water, ether, fire, earth. Okay. Rainbow, crystal. Mm. The dragons of each of your lands. Mm. Okay. So we're inviting them up. And they're going to come in and they're going to do that infinity symbol. So you're going to breathe it up from your root. Imagine it going up right up your legs, enveloping you. One foot in one eight, one foot in the other zero. So just breathe in and breathe out. And up it goes like an elevator. My throat's going, so if you're feeling that, it's okay, just clear. Up through your urethra systems, your bladders. Into the root, the fire red. Up into the sacral, into the womb space. Come on, we see a ma manaya. We need me, 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 me,
Nahene Mahama Ahite Amana Narwa Manae Yha Mahana Ahite Anywhere there's grief and pain held in the womb space. You know, I need you to breathe in and just oh release it all on the out breath. Kashamani Nyamana na na wa ye Ya na 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 wa ye Oh yeah, maha maha amate aha patu sanamana e kashu nama oh so yeha namana na e se the balance of the male and the female, the masculine and the feminine. Ka amana aini ma ama aini amana kutu ayi. Just breathing, keep breathing, and just imagining that, visualizing that, feeling that sense of a spinning infinity symbol. Just rising up, going everywhere, through every cell, every center, up into the solar plexus, unlocking anywhere that's tight, that's blocked, where there's lower energies, fears, anywhere you felt that your power was taken away, anywhere you felt you couldn't speak your truth, anywhere you felt you couldn't express, anywhere you gave your power away to anybody. I'm going to invite all that back into harmony. Bring your power back home right now. Command it through all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Releasing and transmuting, transmuting any stories there through all time and space. That beautiful yellow, sun yellow energy, golden energy. So bring it in. Cosma, gente, come on, I'm up into the heart space. So <laughs> Oi me ne mana na wa ni mana na wa yu na wa she Kasha na ma wa Just breathing in Kasha na mana na wa Kaki ma o kiki ala wa Mai ka ba o ki ba wa wa iki Kuro e ma a wa i Kasha ma wain day ma we mm into the troth ma yen ma wa ma uku kikama good keep breathing in this isn't what I thought was gonna come through but this is what's coming through so just allow and receive keep the heart open don't think about anything the brain doesn't need to get involved so hey miss or just up in the higher head third eye and soften your basin again soften your sitting space allow that flow out like you're, as if you're going to waterfall out all your lower energies take a breath in Ama <laughs> And just breathe again. And allow your body to make any movement it needs. Hold yourself. Beautiful breath in. Exhale. Ah, you.
I invite in the dragons of the womb space of earth so that each person here and in the future will connect with the land dragons, the dragons of the earth that they sit upon and to help in any way transmute their own energies and that of the space of the earth that they're on. Dragons are sacred key gatekeepers. They hold space there. They have ancient wisdom within them that they want to impart to us so that we remember all that we are and all that we have possibilities to access. They're telling me to tell you to remember your abundance and that they are great activators and cultivators of abundance and they wish to impart the ways that they they do that with us the ways they can help us clear our fears and our blocks our fears of receiving dragons are wonderful receivers they want us to be the same Open up the back heart. Take a breath in. Vashkini simi ni ma yi ma wa kishko yi ma wa ma na Anywhere that we're feeling not safe, blocked in our root, in our sacral, in our power centers, in our heart spaces, in our throats. We're going to balance out the male, the female, the feminine, the masculine and open up to receive more. And you may just say, yes, I am open to receiving. And that's receiving everything, unconditional love, abundance, relationships, beautiful experiences, knowledge, gifts. So So I'm going to invite you to feel the pyramid, the pyramid coming down from the bottom, coming down from the head all the way down to the bottom, almost like you're in a pyramid. And we're going to spin that. Vortexual pyramid. Unlocking and activating. See, so na isamana na weke kata mahata kurosnaite. Come on. Kikmana, Uso, Itena, Ana, Iti, Kut Archamana, Osmana, Iti, Mana, Nawa, Mene, Kata, Maha, Mada, Ita, Ata, Kata, Mana, Nae, Kate, Maha. Thank you. Okay, take a breath in. Whew. <clears throat> so, quite a lot of energies coming in there and loads of different types. Um, it wasn't just the Dragon of Ireland. Um, Galena, welcome. Gina, my love, you're probably going, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> um, you're joining a Dragon Meditation and Light Language Activation, Gina. Um, Again, oh, it's so nice to see you too, welcome. So, 
Who would like a dragon card pulled for them and a little reading, a personalized reading for them on their dragons and on the dragon energy? And where in their life, perhaps, that they want to release something, clear something, or bring in something, activate something. And while you leave me a comment and just allow that energies to integrate, I need to plug this in because it seems to have plugged out again. I'm having issues with my tech today. <laughs> Hold on one second. <clears throat> There we go. Is that working? Yes. Oh, whew. I'm, I'm really feeling this. <laughs> I needed this for me and I was so resistant. I mean, my resistance today was unparalleled to coming to do this life. I just wanted to hide. And I said, nope, I'm committed. <laughs> Plus, I'd already said I was holding it. So thank you for bearing with me, everybody. Emer, you're welcome. Michelle, you're welcome. Um, Karen, you want a card. Wonderful. There are so many cards in this deck that I don't know if I can even hold them in one hand. Um, and I'm going to actually share. This is a wonderful lady. Her name is Val. I mean, she just I just got it in the post. I only got them. She hand makes, look at this. She hand makes the, the package that they come in. I mean, everything is done with love and care. It's incredible. She hand, you know, they're all her paintings with her messages. They're incredible cards. The energy from them. Oh, I get shivers when I, I even say it to you guys. Val Young is her name. If, and she's from Wales. And I'll, I'll put her details in case anybody wants to check her out. Um, she's just, the energy is just, I shake when I hold them. They're incredible. Um... Oh, J Jihad, you are here. <laughs> oh my God, Martha and yourself. Oh, it's so nice to see you guys. Um, okay, let me see. Who was first again? Karen, you were first. So I'm keeping my Irish one out because um, that's mine, but there are so many here. Look at this. Um, and there's a message on the back for everybody. <sighs> Oof, Karen. Oh, um, Something about your power is there today. Solar plexus, my mine is going cracked now. So whether the dragons are coming in about your, your power center, owning your power, stepping into your full power. I'm already feeling it before I pull a card. Here you go. This is yours. Is this hers? Yes. Thank you. Who is that? <laughs> it's your dragon talking to me. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> so if everybody, those of you that weren't here at the very start, the specific message was about womb. Um, it was about womb healing. It was about the womb within each of us, the creation space. It was about the earth dragons in the womb of the earth connecting with them on each place that we're in. So I'm in Ireland at the moment. I actually pulled the Irish dragon card. I mean, incredible. And I saw that green dragon on the plane before I came here yesterday. Um, and I have my own message on that for me. So it feels like there is a message for each one of you, ladies and gents watching out there to connect with the earth, the dragon earth energy that you're on right now. There's that sense of activating the earth in a specific, like that sense of we're clearing energies, we're, we're, we're earth working, right? So I'm, I'm saying that for a reason because I could feel my solar plexus going, Karen, before I even opened yours and I felt that drop right into my womb space, my root space, and lo and behold, I just turned the card over and this is what it is, this is your card. Look at the red in that. Look at the solar plexus in that. Can you see it? An awful lot of power in this card. A lot of throat stuff going on as well. Speaking truth, embodying truth. Um, the earth itself in that. I'm going to move this light because it's a terrible shine. Perhaps you can see it better now. I will take a photo if you want as well. Now, oh God, sorry, Pelly's coming in. <laughs> I say, oh God, because it's so strong when I feel her. Um, are you familiar, Karen, with Pele, the the um, the goddess energy? Look at my throat going. Wow. <coughs> she wants to come in. I swear, there's so much throat clearing. <coughs> if anybody needs to clear your throat, please do so because I'm picking up on my stuff, but also everybody else is out there that needs to um, throat chakra stuff. Speaking truth and body and truth, and where we create from in our womb space, we express through throat, right? Our expressions come up through the heart, out of the troth. So um, 
Pele came in there and then I just noticed a volcano in the background. Here we go. Pally's here for you. Dragon Tribe, Sophia, right? You're, it's also connected to the Divine Feminine again. I pulled something with you last week and it was the Divine Feminine again. Dra Pele, look into that energy of Pele, Hawaii, okay? Hawaii, of course, uh, connected with Sedona, connected with Mount Shasta, connected with the Divine Feminine energy, vortexual energy, the balance of the male, the female right now that's happening on Earth. Um, so there's a big, like, I can feel you, essentially you're sitting in meditation, you're calling it in and you're going to receive your coding, your message, your information, your knowledge, your memories of your other lives lived there and any healing that wants to happen from that, if there's anything there that's karmically transported through, like, so, um, <clears throat> just look at this, like, look at the solar plexus and look at him, like, look at the way he's, he's like, <sighs> he's going to burn anything that's holding you back. So you're in your full massive power. And again, this is like the womb space for me and the massive heart space, um, the earth space. So uh, Karen, that card's massive. I haven't even read the back. I'm going to read the back. I am the red dragon. The blood flow of the earth. The flow from her womb. When she contracts or expands, I release these tensions so that her energies may freely flow again. I ripple through the shuddering and quaking ground. I flow with the molten lava runs. I ride the tidal waves and the seismic shifts in the ocean's deep. When earth is peacefully balanced, I nestle down within her warm, velvety womb. Come ride with me. Holy moly. That's my first time reading that, by the way. <laughs> That's just everything we're talking about. Wow. Karen, that's a super powerful card. I, I'm just feeling it in my body so much. Uh, I will send you that photo and that message on the back. Who's next? Christine and Michelle. Okay. Ooh. I am getting womb activation now. Like I can feel my my floating tubes are literally contracting and, and, and expanding. So um, there's a womb healing in that as well, Karen. Plus anybody else that's watching that, you're gonna get you're gonna get this. You're gonna receive it. Just want if you want to say receive, I receive. Because we're all connected, every single one of us. <sighs> Keep breathing, um, ladies and gents, as well, because this energy is so powerful. And wherever I'm stuck, I can feel it pushing, like it's literally going. Pss. <laughs> Sounds like I'm peeing it out. <laughs> what it is that, like, energetically, that's what I probably would describe it as. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Christine. I'm coming onto your card with that. Christine, top, bottom, middle, middle. This one? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. I, I see, I haven't even looked through the cards fully yet. I just got them last night. This is very striking i mean it for me i instantly thought of unicorns when i saw this as well look at that and doesn't that look like a vagina <laughs> the opening <laughs> christine doesn't it and within that is your creation look at that and that's the wings like they're the wings of that dragon wow that is incredible mm. I'm going to read this out for you, Christine. Um, I am the white dragon. Oh, look, I have the purity of the unicorn. You'll see my unicorn in the back there. <laughs> I am the white dragon. I have the purity of the unicorn and the wisdom of the whale. I flow from earth through you to the sky, onto the sun, and then back through you to the earth again. Flowing in a circle, our energies flow as one. I am shimmering, refreshing, shower of light, uniting and cleansing all. Very angelic, this energy. I don't know if you can feel how angelic that is. And, you know, unicorn energy is quite high frequency as well. Um, so that's coming in with that. I'm just going to tune in and see what wants to be said for you on that. Mm, oh. 
there's a big root. Again, the throat. <coughs> it's a big release, um, Christine. So I can just tell you what I was feeling there when I really quickly tuned in before I even tuned into the card is that um, like you're releasing a lot of weight. You know, my shoulders are like, oh God, um, responsibilities, weight. I am getting told what they are. I think you know what they are. I'm not going to say them. Uh, it's private stuff here. Um, so I think you know what I'm talking about. And um, it's time for you to let that pressure go. Let the pressure go. Take the pressure off yourself. Take the pressure and responsibilities of other people, be it your family, your friends, whoever it happens to be that you're like carrying them. It's like you're carrying somebody else on your back, if that makes sense. And it's time for you to set them down. You've, you've kind of set down already and there's just a little bit more to leave down. Okay. Um, and the, the, we are here to help you with that. It's kind of what I'm getting told. What is the unicorn energy here first? So I'm just going to tune into that because it feels like something else wants to come in and I'm still in quite a dragon energy. So I'm just going to tune up, tune in. Mm. this is about freedom and i'm seeing a new moon intentions under the new moon um creating the life of freedom and it's like my lungs are open and wide and i'm saying that to you like oh, they're not tight and closed or constricted it's like i can breathe and it's that sense of clearing the dredges that are in the bottom of the lungs and creating a life of freedom and that energy is here to help you with this. It's crystalline, really crystalline light energy. So I'm getting a sense of you just, you know, you're you're outside, you're in nature, you're just calling it in. You're meditating, you're calling in. You're singing songs in the shower, you're calling it in. And this is almost like you're breathing it in and calling it in. And it's clearing your lungs. I'm getting a lot of things around your lungs, clearing the lungs. Um, and that's grief and that's pain and that's ancestral stuff. Um, and it is time to be finished with that right now end of a cycle end of an era let it go release okay so that is that energy with this for you and the amount of creation energy that's here in this space for you is incredible um so uh very much the male female balance as well between the sun and the moon right the sun the sun being the male the female the moon energies so the balancing of the giving receiving unconditional giving unconditional receiving not the imbalance of over giving and not receiving enough um and i'm feeling it more on my so the balance between the male which is you know it's on the male side i'm feeling it with you so um that's that message um christine what a beautiful like white dragon purity of the unicorn wisdom of the whale beautiful that's yours i'll send that on to you as well who wanted uh, did anybody else want one because i just see the I try and follow what's um, in the comments. Um, I think who was next? Um, Michelle, my darling, you were next, and then it was Jared. I don't want to spend too long on this because I know it's late for some of you beautiful people out there. You're in Europe. It's eleven. Oh God, lads. <laughs> All right. Um, who's is this one? This is Jared's. Okay. And I'm going to pull Martha because you're, I know you're together with him. So since that's what he's saying in the message, I'm going to pull yours too. No, that's not hers. Okay. Which one's hers? This one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, wow. Look at this for um, uh, colors for both of you. Jared. Jihad. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right still. This is yours. Can you see that? So much earth energy again. Look at this. Look at the power of the root and the solar plexus and the sacral being represented here. Plus the burning middle earth. The vortexual energy I spoke about that we channeled into. Here it is here. Can you see that? That's like that interdimensional vortex I just spoke about. The dragons are coming through. That dragon energy is coming through right now. Um, so I love that. Look at that. You just get activated looking at that itself. Look at that. Right. Um, and Martha, that was yours. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, the egg. There you go. So I'll read yours out, Jared. I'm the dragon of the sun. We are many, we are one. 
I am rich molten plasma, forever in motion, forever in flow. Sometimes I move slowly, gathering my strength until I am ready to burst out of the surface on long filaments of pure solar energy. <clears throat> I roar through the universe, energizing all that I touch. And when Earth sings her song to me, I reply with my honey sweet golden rainbow light and nourish her in her core. Feel my heat, receive my flow, fill yourself until you glow. This is pure sustenance for the whole of your being you are full now of sweetness and light oh what's brewing in you mister <laughs> um i have a feeling and let me know if this is true i have a feeling there's a lot of creative energy within you waiting to be birthed right now that was a really powerful message as well. I could feel it clearing and even saying it to you. Um, very powerful. Like you are, mm, if you're not already there, you're stepping into that massive power. Um, and yet there's a gentleness in it as well. And you see the sweetness and light, the balance of that. The power, 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 but then the sweetness and light. So that is a gorgeous, gorgeous card um, for you. I mean, it's very activating just to look at that. You will feel your root in your solar plexus and your sacral just you'll feel the energy running in that so let me how that know how that feels with you um and i will send that on to you as well marta i'm here now to help you find your point of origin i love how this is blue because we talk about the blue people with you <laughs> um <laughs> the palladian energy right and Take a look at the third eye and the crown here. Can you see the crown with that halo? Um, massive opening, massive happenings there for you. The egg being also fertility, um, a representation of fertility for me when I'm looking at this. Um, and your wings are spread, re ready to fly like a butterfly. Look at that, they're beautiful. Um, so I am here now to help you find your point of origin. That moment when you became manifest, um, you and I, Marta, we had a BQH session and a little bit of this feels like it's running in, right? The divine, the divine feminine, excuse me. <sighs> which seems so distant and long ago, but which is still now. That power you felt in our session is now. It is you. I'm here to help you ride your color ray home again, the blue ray. I'm here to guide you through the colors, the vibrations, the scents, the sounds. Of all your memories, I'm here to hold the space for you to assimilate yourself, your true beingness. I am the light to guide you home, and it is your light that illuminates me. We are the same. We are one. There you go. What a gorgeous message. Oh, love it. <laughs> um, I don't know who, el who else was wanted a card. Um... Rosaria, oh, powerful energy, my body is shaking. Yeah, um, if you are shaking, um, <clears throat> I'm feeling you right now, Rosario, actually. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm even clearing. Just take a breath with me now. I feel like I'm shaking because I'm tuning into you, so just take a breath. Oh, and it's that soft and long and deep. Like that breath we do in I love you me, and I know you know I love you me. So I'm gonna bring it, bring it in, swallow it in, and let and open your legs, soften your whole root, your yoni, your urethra, your bum, all of that. Ah, oh, put your hands up, whatever feels good. Just move if you need to move, and allow that energy because that shakingness, that's the energy getting stuck right? The shaking is that vibration, everything's vibrating and it wants to flow and sometimes it hits something and it can like make you go almost like you are shaking. So I'm going to invite you just to breathe in. Oh. And sometimes the shaking is literally, you need to shake to release stuff as well. So that's, it's happening for a reason. Um, I'm glad it's resonating with you. So that's really good to hear. Uh, would you like a card? Did you ask for one? I don't know if you did or didn't. I don't want to read you if you didn't ask. 
I'm going through the, I'm going trying to go, <laughs> I forget I'm live. I'm like, <laughs> oh lads. Um, Rosario, if you want a card, let me know. I won't pull one unless you ask. Um, I don't want to tune in to somebody and say something when they didn't ask. Um, so Laura, ah, Laura, my sweetheart. Thank you. Uh, Laura and I met in Sedona when I went over there and she is a gorgeous soul and most beautiful, gentle, beautiful, you're just so gorgeous. I remember talking to you and she gave me the most wonderful gift. She helped me in my receiving. So thank you. She gave me a gorgeous candle of Sedona. This is yours. Very first one. <clears throat> There's a link to, um, Immediately when I look at this, there's a link to Sedona and Mount Shasta in this with you. Um, so mountaintop dragon, it's very earthy, very earthy, right? Very grounded, very earthy, but there's air energy in this as well. Um, okay, so I'm not sure who's still with me now because we've been going on a while. <laughs> We're an hour on now. Okay, so... Car uh, um, Laura, this is your message. Within the depths of this Himalayan mountain, the beautiful blue and white egg of energy opens. Like a genie from a bottle, upsoars Kara Nehru, the new guardian of this treasured place. She rises to feel the full power of this mountain and is filling herself with fresh vital energy. She receives Earth's pulsating heartbeat through the whole of her body, the portal that the king of the mountain so fiercely guarded becomes active and opens. Her role is to open the site again and to be the guardian of the sacred cosmic portal, which is active once more. So, um, Laura, uh, I'm not sure if you do earth work, earth gridding, uh, if you do earth energy work right now, but, um, there's definitely, and that came in as a message for everybody, like we were all to do that. Anybody who's on this call is actually called to do that. But this is telling you about that. This card is to show you the power that you have within you to access the vortexual energy and even open and activate vortexual energy within the earth to help transmute, clear, bring up the vibration, heal yourself, heal everybody around you through using this kind of um, energy work. Um, so I have a feeling you could, you possibly know where you're wanting to tune into. And this one does say Himalayan mountain, but I have a feeling there's something in America, like where you are, that's right there and possibly a similar energy, if not the same, that's linked to the Himalayan energy of this dragon here. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of sacred heart stuff happening with you right now, like an opening of your upper higher heart. I'm feeling that quite quite a lot quite a lot so if you're anyways there's any like sense of that heaviness of that or releasing of old like pain old grief whatever sadness um i know i was experiencing that maybe two or three weeks ago um i'm feeling that now as well here and there was heart activation in this so just know that in the coming days like right now you've received but this will happen over the coming weeks, days, that you'll feel things come out, you'll feel more stuff happen. So um, just sitting with yourself, being gentle, being compassionate, um, and I will send you the message on that as well for you. Did anybody else want one? Um, now, Laura, that's done. Oh, Albert, I didn't know you were here as well. Welcome. Um, Paula, welcome. Catherine, Tar Tamara, you asked for one. I gave you one yesterday now, Tamara. Let's see what you pulled today. Um, because they were powerful, those ones yesterday. I loved them. They were gorgeous. Where is Tamara's card? Mm, this is yours. Look at that. It's like a lotus flower. <laughs> And look at that going through space and time. Uh, it's very vortexual as well. Um, guess what it says in the back? Merlin. Hello, magic man. Merlin. <laughs> he's laughing here now. He's coming in. Merlin has always worked closely with his friends, the dragons. 
And today Merlin has a gift for you. He is sending you a burst of spiraling healing energy. Receive it with grace. Mishna mani isima we tia katan wasna ma te awo rosna he te kwashna he ma ma mana na wa iti kama wo i sa so i me ya ma wa ma te ka ata. Recognize the magic which you have within you and use it. No more hiding. Come out. Use it. Okay? That's yours. Um, who's next? Please let me know. The, I'm so slow at reading these comments. Um, it's early in Australia, Michelle, is it? Christine, I love you too. You're very welcome. Um, oh, no worries, Karen. No worries. We have to go. Michelle, Michelle, did I read you one? No, I didn't. And I will read you one now. Jared, you feel the power of that card. Yeah. And Rosario, you'd like one too. And Emer, you're still here. Because <laughs> it's super late, guys, isn't it? <laughs> We're kind of like, yes, Tamara the Lotus. I love that. I love that. I love how you pull that. And Merlin, of course, he's pure magic. He's amazing magic. Um, and very much kind of like worked with a lot of dragon energy. <sighs> Michelle. <sighs> no, not that one. Thank you. I'm this one yes Ooh, you get two michelle you get two um i need to move my lights again is that upside down yes it is <laughs> look at that two dragons enfolded um look at the infinity symbol a little bit here as well like and that came in today the infinity symbol again for balancing and releasing um, and of course, this is about the balance coming into your life right now. Um, the spiral energy here as well. Uh, there's lots of, I don't like, there's there's so much going on in this. Um, for me, there's a lot of sacred geometry in this and symbology. And I'm sure you can see it. Okay. Look at that. Look at all the, like, Ooh, yeah. And this was your second one. Look at that. Is, isn't that stunning? Is that not the most stunning dragon ever? Immediately, I'm just feeling a call for earthwork, grid work with this um, transmutation. Oh, God, there's galactic stuff in this. The minute I'm just feeling it. Water work. God, this is full. Like, I couldn't possibly pin down. There's so much going on in this one. Right. The actual message in this is the dragon of balance. Constant flowing movement, spiraling, spinning, floating, flying, together we slide and glide. We know the joy of being together, of being separate, of dancing as one. We flow from love and dance and love. Our twists, turns and tangles are part of the magic in a magical partnership. Um, something with, <laughs> is there a romance going on as well? Like, I don't know. I'm just asking that because magical partnership is coming up. Um, now, perhaps that is a collaboration as well uh, for that too. And that is the male-female energies as well. I mean, there's so much in this. Right. Gorgeous. In the dark, there is peace. In the light, there is peace. In the stillness, there is expansion. There is harmony. On the edge of the dark and light, there is agitation. There is change. Within the change, there is creation, destruction, and transformation. On the borders between dark and light and the lines between form and formless, there lies the greatest potential for discord to become harmony. So there is a lot of energy in this card. Whew. I love his eye. Look how gorgeous his face is. So I'll send you on those two. I have to remember whose cards are what. Um, Rosario. Good, I'm glad you feel the release and you want a card. Wow. How do you look at this one? <clears throat> it's this way. There's a lot going on here. Um, kind of like tribal for me that looks like a 
sorry, TP on this side. Look at the webs being spun here. Um, birthing, rebirthing, earth, fire, water, air. There's a lot going on here. Um, so this is yours, Rosario, isn't it? It is the time of the dragon's great gathering. The sacred space is open and countless dragons are flying in and arriving. All is ready, all is in motion. We begin our sacred procession up the mountain. We honor the earth and we bring gifts and our open hearts as we stand firm on this pristine land. And it is, yeah. The dragons of earth, the dragons of water, air and fire greet us in their turn with their energies, expanding our awareness and experiencing their flows. You have a huge connection with dragons, Rosario. Um, there's been many lifetimes you've worked with them. Um, you've studied under Merlin with them. Oh, uh, not just in Avalon though, like even before that. Mm. Uh, oh God, there's a lot of energy that wants to come in for you right now and the dragons really want to connect with you. You have more than one dragon to connect with. You do have one large one, one main one that wants to come in right now. And if you haven't listened to my last meditation to find out the name of that dragon and meet it, do so. Um, however, you also have the capacity because you've worked with all these beautiful beings, the earth, the elementals, the fire earth, you know, all of these and the galactics. There's a lot of um, energy work that you can do for yourself and others in the earth and, and whatever else needs to be done. There's a lot in that. I haven't even finished reading this. So um, that wanted to come in. So I just wanted to say that. Um, so we can see their colors and vibrations through the landscape, creating a web of life. As we open to the ether circle, celestial choirs ring through the mountains and valleys. Cosmic dragons soar through the portals. So um, there, I said there's some dragons that are sacred gatekeepers and you can most definitely tune in and connect with these. And there is that sense of open portals, portals for you to travel dimensionally through and experience either, you know, other places or future versions or creating your ideal future there is a sense of you um you can like easily okay tap into future aspects of yourself and bring that vibration energy back and anchor it in through dragon work okay um so hi that's just wanted to be said out loud Ring through the mountains and valleys, cosmic dragons soar through the portal. The land is activated with the new energies. So land stuff here with you, um, earth gridding stuff here with you, spiraling in helix formations in each of the elemental circles. So helix is important, so you might look that up. Um, and the cosmic energy flows through the water web, weaving itself around the earth. The new has been grounded, rises up from the land and the ocean's deep. Drink deeply of the new. So that's yours. Whoa, lots of um, third eye activation with me just saying that to you. So you are opening big time, girl. Big time. If you haven't already, I can really feel it. Um, <coughs> throat stuff too. Are you feeling your throat stuff? <laughs> mm, to live your truth, to be in your truth, to express your truth. <sighs> Amen. This is yours. This is actually, I'm just getting told the first one was yours. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous and gold. Look at all the golden energy and the white, the purity, the purples. Look at all the spirals and the heart. I love this card. It's gorgeous. That's your card, Emer. I am the dragon of Earth's new cosmic web. I am a misty, iridescent white, reflecting all the rainbow colors. I am infused with the golden gossamer light of the great sun and we dance together as one. I am here to strengthen this new web that flows throughout Gaia's body, her oceans, her air, her stars. Sense my iridescent energy streaming through your body as I flow brighter and grow lighter. Um, I really feel your energy with this because <laughs> that's how you feel to me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so crown stuff. Wow, your crown's really activated. I can feel that, Emer. Is there a lot going on? Hmm. 
I'm just seeing, does anything need to happen with grounding these energies in for you? I'm just asking that question. Is all okay with that? Yes. Yeah, all's good. All right, because it's such high energy, I just want to check that. All's good. Um, who's next? <laughs> oh, Rosario, I'm so glad that it resonates and your heart is so open. Good, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. And thank you everybody for being here still because it is definitely a lot later. And thank you for allowing me to hold this space because I held this space for me. I really needed this um, for the transformations of, that I'm going through. And um, you know that those thought format formations that we have of I can't show up when my energy is not like, you know, high. Um, I'm a bit low today. I won't show up. I won't share i won't come you know it's like release that old program mary um you come as you are mm, who was next was that everybody actually i feel there's somebody else is that everybody done yeah it is everybody done okay cool everybody's cards are red mm-hmm um, if I've missed anybody out, Jackie, you just joined. Um, I'm just finished. Do you want me to pull you a card, Jackie? I will totally pull you one. Um, it's the Dragon World Day today. And um, we had a grounding and meditation. I really needed it. <laughs> and then we had a light language activation for all chakra systems. And we had a message from the Dragon of Ireland. So that's what we were doing today, Jackie. Um, I'm actually, I am going to read out. Jackie, let me know if you're going to comment, just let me know if you want one and I'll pull you one. Um, but the one I got was this. All thanks to the Dragon of Ireland for allowing me to be with her on this very special night and to see as she sees with dragon's eyes. Here we sit and gaze at the cleft in the hills Beyond there is the sea, slowly the full moon rises, and as the light flows through the valley, I see the body of the dragon, forming a circle protecting this place. Faintly at first we hear exquisite music and laughter, then we see the fairy folk dancing in the light of this moon. They celebrate all night in this freedom that their dragon gives them, until the sun rises through the same curve of the hills. A dream, maybe. But if you ask to be with the Dragon of Ireland, she will surely show you something magical. And for me today, before I came on this call, she brought me and showed me the womb space and the vortex or energy within the earth and where in Ireland it wants to be activated and opened up. And that some of my sacred work is to do that. And that you share that anybody that showed up on this call, it's also part of what they're here to do so whether you watch this now or in the future connecting with the dragons of the earth which with within which on which you reside um calling forth their energies and just um calling them asking them what is it that i need to be to do to know there is so much knowledge for them to impart with us right here right now as they're flooding into earth through that massive vortex that's within the earth's core there's also galactical um, portals as well. That's just the one I got shown today for me to connect with. But it felt like it was collective as well. Tessa, you joined. I'm at the end. I'm actually finished. I'm just waiting to see if Jackie want me to pull her card or not. She was the second last person to join. Um, do you want me to pull your card, Tessa? Because if not, I'm actually going to close out and just thank everybody. Um, So uh, the ancestors, for everybody that joined on this call. <sighs> Just receiving them, thanking them, blessing them. I thank them for being here. And I invite any clearing that happened down the ancestral lines, mother, father line, past, present, future, as above, so below. Sa ni se ma wa huku ye te ka ma wa sa ne Tro so ti ka ma maha na te ka And we bless and we close that, thank you. And for the dragons of everybody that was here, I thank them for helping and joining. And um, thank you all for joining. And Tessie, you haven't responded, so I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> 
<laughs> although I hope that you're feeling well and um, I'm just going to check and see because there's a delay sometimes with my computer and I don't know what happens with it um, if just checking to be honest Ooh, do 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 Okay, that's the end. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, soul family, soul tribe, soul sisters, soul brothers. I send you my love and I thank you for watching and holding me in your space. Um, so much love. Please tag and share anybody um, with this transmission because the power within this was pretty big today. I know... Um, Rosario, you said you were shaking. I hope that that has eased off a little. Um, please know, like, reach out to me because I'm. if you're in any, if something's going on, because within the coming days, more stuff will come up. And if anybody's feeling lost, just let me know and we can talk through it. Um, but uh, it's all normal and it's just be with you. Keep breathing, going out in nature and connecting. Oh, the logo. I totally forgot, Michelle. Um, I totally forgot, but I'm going to post the logo. Um, I will mention that. Thank you for reminding me. That's why I got you here. <laughs> um, so Michelle and I, I worked uh, on a logo. Um, I got shown by a shaman soul sister, I should say. <laughs> um, I was working with somebody in a client coach relationship and essentially a part of their, their self, uh, I used to know in another lifetime came through and showed me a symbol right and um, the dragons were with with the symbol and it uh, it is my logo I'm going to post it because what looking at this logo meditating on this on this logo and I say logo but the symbol right um, will actually help activate okay so some of you might receive that and remember it um, it feels quite old quite ancient and it's just coming back again so um, for for me how i use it um i breathe in golden energy golden light and i open and i soften and I, it's it's almost like doctor strange right if you ever seen the movie doctor strange where he does like <laughs> and he's got like the gold you see the golden ring or whatever i use it like that um so it is wonderful for activating abundance for healing for dimensional traveling, um, anchoring in higher energies. Um, this, I haven't even explored all the possibilities with this uh, symbol. If anybody wants to know more, please let me know. But it's three in a circular motion, breathing in golden light. <sighs> right, in a circle. I then use almost like the peace symbol and make the uh, upper triangle and then the lower triangle, they both meet in the middle, three little circles on each side i have yet to find out what what that is i need to tune in and ask for that because there is a special meaning for everything and the spiral energy within which is like clearing and transmuting um and that's it activation it activates so um very powerful uh please even look at one of my photos you'll see it and just look at it and i will post up the actual logo so if anybody wants to meditate with it please let me know um I know I've just two new people joined there, uh, Toby Burr and Ant. <laughs> uh, welcome. I'm just finishing, actually. So I just want to send everybody my love and thank you for joining. And please watch over. There's massive power in this. If anybody's joined late, the activations, the attunements, the energy clearing that came in with the dragons was pretty powerful. Um, not what I expected, but that's what happens, you know. So um, thank everybody again, and good night, adieu. Mwah. Love you all. <laughs>